William's death is the second this year of a great actor who battled addiction. Philip Seymour Hoffman died in February of an accidental heroin overdose. Jim Axelrod tells us that the death of Williams has again turned a spotlight on addiction, depression, and suicide. From the moment news broke of Robin Williams' suicide... Hello, LifeNet. How can I help you? The phone started ringing at the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and they haven't stopped. Do you think your daughter is safe at this particular moment? The last 24 hours has seen the second highest volume of calls in the past 12 months. Lisa First is the Director of Policy and Education for the Lifeline. Whenever there is a public uh, completion of suicide, it spurs people to reach out, especially if they didn't know where to reach out before, as many people may not. The most recent numbers from the Centers for Disease Control show more than 39,000 suicides each year. That's an average of 108 each day. Dr. Jeffrey Bornstein is president of the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. More people die from suicide than from homicide in the United States, which is an amazing fact. Most people don't realize how common it is. Somewhere between a quarter and a third of people who die by suicide have a substance use disorder along with a diagnosable mental illness. And I went to rehab in wine country just to keep my options open. <laughs> While we joked about it, Robin Williams' suicide underscores this link between depression and substance abuse. Addicts have a rate of depression three to four times higher than the general public. Williams was candid about his alcoholism. Last summer, he described to John Stewart how easily 20 years of sobriety gave way to a bottle of Jack Daniels. The moment I had the first sip, it was like... All of a sudden, was like, welcome back! <laughs> if you only treat the depression without treating the chemical dependency, you won't be successful in really helping the person. And probably won't be effective in dealing with either. With neither of them will get better. We mentioned that today was the second busiest day at the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Number one was a day in late May, which was likely related to Memorial Day. Always someone to reach out to. Always. Jim, thanks very much.